Good morning from Montreal. So, first day here. Landed fairly early last night, but didn't bother filming anything because it was just the boring stuff. Now what I'm gonna be doing now is going downstairs having breakfast and then going to meet up at CCM and checking out their HQ. Definitely not a bad way to start the day. My friend told me you is there, uh, Yes, it is. Hi, how are you? Very well. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. This is Chris from Hockey Welcome. Tutorial. Thank you very much, thank you very much. It's good to be here. My name is Mark Levangi, and you guys are in the CCM Performance Lab. What we do in the CCM Performance Lab is we try to understand the mechanics of player shooting as well as the mechanics of a stick uh, to try to improve the performance of the stick year after year. So in order to do that, we have uh, motion capture technology here um, where we place sensors on the player's body as well as the stick and the puck which allows us to look in 3D uh, the performance of the shot. And from there, we're able to measure things like how much the stick bends, how much the blade opens up, how accurate the shot is, and we use all this information um, to improve stick design. So not only do we use our lab to understand stick design, but we also use it to help uh, NHL players find the right stick for them. So we've had players such as Charlie McAvoy and Zach Parise uh, come to our lab and try to help them find the right construction for them. So the benefit of, of having this lab is that we're able to modify a specific aspect of the stick and then look and see how that one small aspect changed the outcome of performance. The reason we bring professional players in here is because um, if we can match the right construction with the mechanics of the player shooting, then we should be able to improve their performance. Nice. Shot. And there's no risk of you hitting these? No, no, no. Okay. no, no, no. So right now we've just finished taking a look at CCM's stick lab, or their performance stick lab, and we're off to R&D. Eric is our lab supervisor. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Eric Sandini, I work for CCM Hockey. Uh, I'm the lab supervisor, so we do testing on uh, everything from head to toe. In the Canon, we see the testing on the L forms. Uh, we test cages, we test helmets. Uh, what we see now is goalie cages. So the clay is there to uh, leave a, a trace of any impacts that occur uh, between the cage or the puck and the head form. We shoot pucks uh, anywhere between 80 miles per hour to 130 miles per hour. For standards, we do 80. Uh, on other occurrence, uh, to replicate the shots of a pro player, we're going to go up to 130 to test uh, in a more extreme environment just to make sure that everything passes. The reason we test sticks is to make sure that everything that goes on the ice is a proper product, uh, to make sure that it doesn't break too early or that doesn't cause injuries to a player. 
and, um, and that's it. So one of the main reasons behind us coming to CCM's HQ was to be able to give you guys, the hockey players, and also ourselves, a better look, a better indication of what goes into creating the equipment they have. Now when we buy gear, sticks, skates, all we say is it's expensive, but what we don't really think about is what goes into creating that equipment. When you buy a pair of skates or a stick, you think about the manufacturing process, the raw materials, and then the product at retail. Why does it cost so much? Because this is what's left out. This is what you don't typically get to see. There's an entire research and development team here that's in place to test all of the equipment CCM manufacture to basically within an inch of its life. And a lot of the times past that point, meaning they break the equipment to be able to get an indication as to what the equipment can tolerate. With sticks, it's to be able to see exactly where the flex points are, how the stick performs, how durable the stick is. It's impossible for a good hockey manufacturer to be able to certify a stick, for example, as a 75 flex, a 95 flex, without doing the R&D to back that fact up. And that's exactly what happens here. And all of this has to be factored into the cost of the product. So when we buy our insanely expensive equipment and we don't really appreciate the background of what goes into it, that's what we're trying to show you over here. There's a reason for the price point. It's how you justify the quality. So right now we're finished in R&D and we're headed to CCM's North American warehouse. distributed everywhere in North America. So all of our Canadian retailers and US retailers, the product arrives here first, and then we ship it out. It's an insane operation. Just, I, I can't even describe the magnitude of, of equipment that is in here. This is probably one of the largest warehouses that I've ever been in, and the fact that it is just CCM equipment in here gives you an idea of the scale of exactly how much CCM do and exactly how big the company is. I just have to show you this. So these two aisles in front of me are just hockey sticks. Check this out. CCM have a gym. They have a CrossFit gym in their office. This is CCM's research and development section. Can't show you this bit. This section is under lock and key. Sorry guys. I was just saying to JS that he's breaking my soul by showing me all of these incredible products, none of which I can photograph or take any video clips of whatsoever. This is the best and most terrible moment at the exact same time. I'm not sure if you can appreciate what that means, but that's the only way that I can describe it. This brings us to the end of the visit. This has been an absolutely epic trip to CCM's HQ here in Montreal. Forever grateful to the CCM team and especially JS for having me out here, taking the time to show me around and share some details and insight into what goes on here. Massive, massive thank you to JS and CCM. And as always, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, thumbs up the video, and let us know in the comment section what you'd like to see next.